Hey everyone, welcome back to the Fit Science channel. Today we have a special guest who is gearing up for a software development job. Before heading into the real D, they have decided to take part in a mock interview to sharpen their skills. We will be looking into some technical questions, especially those that align with their resume. To help them prepare, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. All of the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. Kishore, talk to you. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, sir. What about you, sir? I'm doing good. Let's see. Tell me about yourself. Yeah. Thanks for the opportunity, sir. Well, my name is Chief Krishna Kishore. I'm from a village called Akshin Paro, Krishna District, Andhra Pradesh. Right now, I'm staying in Surar Madhuravar. Coming to my educational background, I completed my graduation between in Goldwater and the College Goldwater in the Shima Computer and Negative to 6.9 with GP. And also completed my intermediate private junior college to work in the of 8.8 CGP. And also completed my schooling in the Narayana Middle School to work in the of 8.7 CGP. In all my endeavors as a decent school, so I worked in Wipro for the past four months as an analyst. Pretty some projects that came out with the organization. So and also that uh, I'm a very quick learner, not a very enthusiastic, polite, honest person. Every time, uh, whenever a struggle is came, I don't feel that uh, never happened anything. Just I go with the positive mindset. And uh, now, now I'm in a good position that uh, so searching for the good jobs or uh, after completing my graduation. This posture really makes me a lot. So that's in uh, the central to the organization also too. So and also coming to my family background, uh, my we have four nuclear family, my father, mother, me and my elder sister. Uh, my father's name is Mandir Salam, my mother's name is Mani. Uh, my sister's name is Nandini. So I'm the one uh, person who is looking for the good job, how I can be. Okay. Next to my skills. Yeah, great to know you, Krishna. Thank you. So let me go through your uh, resume. So you have okay. me resume name. So, in Zaida, Krishna, Kishore. So you have have experience. So you are an analyst at WebPro. Uh, so you said that you have came out from WebPro. So you could have mentioned uh, when the last working day. I think I, I think I mentioned in the resume that uh, it says uh, from Bart's continued. So Thank you. Know that, uh, you're still working. Oh, sorry, sorry, sir. I said you wrong reason why I didn't. Uh, okay, fine. Fine. No. Fine. 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 So I resigned in 21st of the last month, July. 21st of last month. Oh. Oh, fine. Great. So I can see you as you said, uh, I've done VTEC last year on people that. Yes, and I have a particular good marks. I can see. So it's 195, it's a good score. That's 60. Yeah. More. I have given some skill set or technical skills, C language, put in Python, is it some Java? And we had done some projects. Tip. I assume that this is a college project. Like, yes, the both parts are college projects. Okay, we will be learning new things. Then we call it to the query in the So, see it. in us. So, I would quickly um, ask you your technical questions uh, based okay. on your uh, skill set. Okay. okay. So, you know, um, okay. So, you know C language? Yeah, no, sir. You have uh, learned many things in C in your college. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, um, what is static in C? Static. Yes. What is the purpose of static? You have used static static keyword? Yeah, I didn't just hang in a word or it. It's a long time later, I guess. Do this, this, you know, right? So, sure, okay. remember, and you let you know.
not no psychology to my bit over there okay now okay. pass it no the static static keywords keeps say variable or a function scope limited to the file or blocks it's in so it doesn't accidentally get uh, used elsewhere so it also retain variable value between the function call like uh, instead of resetting each time so see it's okay fine now let's go to pike um michael so what do you mean by like how you explain difference between mutable and immutable type in python mutable and yes have you heard about mutable yeah, and immutable yeah, yeah. type yeah yeah sir so in python we have the tenant of like uh, list uh uh list tuples set dictionaries so one thing is a immutable uh, remain one of the immutable so one one thing is tuple tuple is immutable because uh, this is used for the hash conversions too that's why it is immutable so you can't change the sequence right that's why that's why this was immutable so coming to the list list is a order collection of the data and because of immutability we can change we can change the sequence we can update we can change the data or in, in regarding that so coming to set set is the, that's not having sequence but it's immutable because it's using the i think has conversions of the uh, because of the rules and those it's coming the uh, this kind of things we are using there and that uh because of the list is sets used but the stories it is a queue i prepared uh just for example uh, i want to print your name uh, i your name is i think uh, uh, atindra uh your name uh, name will be the key and value will be the atindra so the, like that we have to print that so uh, because of the things uh, this dictionary set this is the this is immutable job objects all these things are mutable and the only tuple is mutable so uh, i am just sending you a one code code that mean what would be the print and uh, is this a mutable or immutable string you are going to do the output right da ah. okay welcome plus krishna welcome krishna The printing of the duly print or for duly print welcome krishna okay so is this a mutable or immutable string mutable or immutable string right yeah yes we we can change this string right we can change not a problem so then what wrong So you can't cannot change. So it's a mutable or immutable. Which thing, which is a which cannot be changed. Mutable. That that means mutable can we can't change, right? So mutable you can change. Fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fifth. Uh. So let's go to Java questions. Okay, Java. In Java programming, simple few basics. Like, what do you mean by object-oriented graph? Oops, which oops concept? Okay, so object-oriented programming uh, is a is a basic thing of the programming language in the Java. So we uh, in that we have a few of roots concepts like uh, class, objects, encapsulation data, in, uh, data in abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. So the, these are the concepts that roots. So in this class, class is the blueprint of order where objects can be created. So now, oh, we all know that God is class and what is object. The object is entity in real to one is like car, bike, what are the pins? These are the objects. Sir. So coming to data abstraction, so it's focus on the uh, declaration, not on the implementation. The first thing. So for example, well, we have a car. So we have a uh, okay, we have a car. Just we can apply uh, force on uh, on bike and we can raise our speed, whatever it becomes. What internally is order we don't know. Then that that's what the Article uh, that that does mean about the data abstraction. This coming to inheritance. So uh, inheritance is uh, uh, so it's about uh, one class is inherited by or derived from another class. Uh, that that's about the inheritance. So inheritance means ah, uh, it's a parent-child relationship. We have single inheritance, multi-child one, uh, and hierarchical inheritance. So these these come out of the inheritance. And also coming to encapsulation. uh 
and comes issue to wrapping up of the data i mean hiding hiding the data but uh, in 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 concept in, in an encapsulation it just we have to hide the data the, this comes under it is under the single unit we have done and i'll sit uh for uh, so basic examples like uh, uh, we have a bag what internally uh, we don't know what the outer layer of the bag will be represented what internally what books we, we don't we don't it's just hiding at the same telling an example on what they look like we okay, after the polymerism uh polymerism it means that uh, Okay, it's about uh, in many forms. The poly means it is many forms. It's one word means it's a many forms. So, for example, at a time, a man can do different times at at any things at a different time. So, this is another good example of the polymer version. Yeah, this couple of those concepts. Oh, so, there's a give me a bit of a direction about it. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty fine. That you can explain the things and also takes off. Okay, uh, and the same in Java, so tell me the difference between the interface or uh, and the abstract class. Abstract classes. Yeah, the interface and abstract class. So I don't know about it much. I uh, I learning this Java is for the basic knowledge. So I just started for learning, so I don't know much about it. Yeah. So have you heard about interface? Yeah, I haven't heard interface. You know how to write class in Java? Yeah. Yeah, like class. Very simple, similar to Python, I believe. Right. Sure. Uh, very similar to Python, the syntax. Uh, write no. the class. Writing the class is not so same, but... Uh, I think quite easy. Python is quite easy in Java. So we have the long syntax in Java, right? Okay. So Python, we have in a simple language, simple words we can we can call it that. Okay. Okay. So, okay, fair. Uh, so move on for next question. So what do you mean by open writing method and open loading method in Java? Third part that method, I guess this very uh, same concept when you do volume of Facebook. It's yeah, not yeah. that volume of Facebook. Right. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Shana, Shana, I have read, I have read it, but, didn't, but uh, I learned also, but I uh, can't remember it, that's it. So if you have one with also, they are the wall writing or all writing. Yeah, it's diff it different forms, right? So that- But different forms are, uh, that's right. That's right. Okay. So uh, let me just give you some hint. So let's say you have a class and um, you want to, that same class you have one method called add addition. Addition. So okay. we'll do uh, two integers addition, int i and uh, j. 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 But at the same time, you want to add floating or double digit. Okay. Right? Fine. So for that, you will create another method okay. addition. But in that parameter, you will have float or double i double j. The okay. clear comes what answer? Is it over id or overload? I think overloading, so data is increasing, there is a low, increase in the data, right? So overloading, I think. Correct. So then what is over id? Okay, fine. Uh, I think uh, yeah, it usually reduces the yeah, I think memory of the data. So memory it usually or uh, decreases the memory of the data. I think memory you're talking about. I think for, for example, uh, where a program is trying to be just want to clear that. Uh, so don't want to. Uh, Extend the code, right? So we, we should be very logical by writing the code. We should be very logical. So on that behalf, I think overriding that means uh, we have to reduce the data, uh, I think memory of the data. So while writing it's the code, memory. we should. Uh, I will tell you. Overloading, you have you corrected. That's the. So within a class, if you have multiple methods with same okay. signature, that is overriding. Okay. And overriding is not in within the class. In different class, when you do inheritance, 
okay when you inherit means one class you you let's say you are parent and i'm child so if i want some uh, method let's say you have also addition in your in your method in your class and i i have also addition if i extend you child to parent then i will have your same uh, sharing of method addition so that will not be overriding okay friends thank you thanks for the clarification thank you so go through and because very important concept this okay. yes yes uh, fair enough kishan brain seller c is done python is done java let's go to the database sql okay means good it is simple sql query i'm not going to read it like i said the rtp is okay so so what do you what is primary key and uh, can a table have more than one primary no 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 it is only one unit to primary gate i've learned what you have shared is uh, that's very useful for me so what i've learned is so i don't i don't know much about the my sql things but uh, i've been learning so i need to clarification on regarding these things the basic things so primary key we have to only the one unit key key so we have uh, depend on me that's not a problem but we have only the one primary key itself okay so one primary key in a table right in a table yes yes so can two column make a one primary key can a two column uh, or multiple column no 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 i think okay i think you should check that it is possible okay fine we don't say that a primary but say that it can it that's a advanced sql things okay write a sql query for creating a table yeah in the chat just take your student okay the student should have id name at its okay just create a table or story So for creating, uh, we have to use the create a uh, uh, define. Can send me. Yeah. So what are the variables? So ta- table for create, create a table which has ID. Okay. Name, age. Okay. Can you create the? Assume, assume whatever ID can be any like string kind of thing. Order, then also will be straight. Get as you many any random reach for that. And age should be number. I want to see the syntax. Are we being correct? We are not a boost tabling. They are not a boost to run them things to them. Sorry, sorry, I shared my personal data. Just I'm typing it. Take it. Ah, ah, ah. Student ID. I'm not. Ah, ah, ah. Student name. Yes, you did. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, you did. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Ah, ah
Are you done? It's just a second, sir. I think do the travel session regarding it. Okay, that's right, I think. Okay. For table creation, right? For table creation, we have the create database. So, what is the table name? So, inside that, we have to order the things of the student age and name. So, as it is, give an example, right? Okay, if this is the, your answer, I uh, says you should check how to create table. Uh, so, two mistake. You are trying to create a database instead of table. So, database is not a keyword. Okay. And, uh, all, for all the ID name, you need, have to mention the uh, data types after that. With the okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Sir. Okay, guy, I just imagine some more of that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. And the same in the table, uh, what do you mean by indexes? What is the, why are they used? Indexes, have you heard about indexes in SQL? So indexes in? Indexes in SQL. Indexes in SQL. You had an order one, but I can't think about it. So, uh, I think indexes is like the way. For example, there's a table, right? We have a customer ID, uh, name. I think these are compared to the indexes. So, what we have done that matter that that will become columns we are added. So, that columns, uh, we declare it as indexes. I think there's a partial difference between that. Profit. ID, I, I believe uh, it's not the correct And Index is something when you create a table and uh, you, let's say, all the primary key are automatically indexed. Okay. Index line is just making sure that you you can you can find that all the values very very fast. It's hashing, it's make hashing for each uh, it's it's created different table on top of that. So every column will have index. So let's go on find let's say he showed that name list. So okay. it will not go to check the table. You will go to the index table. Okay. It's very fast at that. So this is a advanced level concept. And it's uh, been asked in even, I guess, to go to support five. Uh, uh, after five years also, it will be asked. It's so relevant. Yes, sir. Okay. So what do you eat? Eat and drink it in Esper. So, uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. But that is... Yeah, so, the, yeah, yeah, I have reason about it. I just, uh, I, 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 I have learned the news you have shared and uh, I have read. So, delete, delete row, uh, rows, columns, we have used the deleter, that one. Truncate is the entire row and column you have to delete for that we have used. Hey, are you correct, means, um, is this your answer? Delete what? So how do you delete a table? If you want to delete this student, how do you do, do that? Yes. Okay. For deleting, we have used a delete, delete keyword. So, because of this one, uh, we have to delete the entire or like a column or a row. So, I'm telling you how to delete it. But at the table deletion, we have to strike it. Don't you think? Then what is draw? Sure. So, draw, I think it's, it's, it's all the. Uh, I said, yeah, uh, I think to deal to all around the table, we have only a drop, drop there. And what is trunking? Taking is about all rows in our columns, I think. So delete all. So it's a very tricky question. Delete and truncate does the same thing. Yeah. There's a similar difference, I say. This is very minor difference. So yes. you delete, you actually are not committing it. You know commit? No. Committing a transaction means when you delete this student, it does okay. it actually delete, it disappears from your table, but it actually doesn't delete your whole table until you write commit. Okay. Some some database like MySQL and other the RDMS, they have automatic auto commit commit. So you don't need to do that after delete. But truncate is 
it cannot be rolled back after it is commit to so check that what's trunk okay fine drop is it will drop the structure whole structure will be gone whole structure will be gone yes right it's not not delete that delete only will do for the specific row or uh, data not the structure of the table drop will delete the structure of the table so you have to again create the table but what delete yeah. don't do that. yes okay uh, last question um what do you mean by update so provide me some example okay update uh... So I have a brief idea about update. So, so for example, there's a table of order table or customer table order in maybe. So I want to update. Uh, I update a new column of the new row or a new name. So because of this update method, we can we can we can update the things. Okay, okay. okay I mean, okay. For example, I, I want to change the column name. So we have a name, name like Krishna or my name is there or we have the, we have, I have the data of that uh, name customer ID all the things. So I, I want to update that row. So uh, I or else I have to add one more thing update. So can you give me an example? Can I write the sentence? Okay, let's come to that. I think the Russian should know it's not assuming the last syntax, I think. Prepared by time for what? What a problem? I will look. I will try my best. I don't know. So, yeah. so I'm not getting it soon, but uh, practical, practical, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know much clarity, but uh, critically, I have not. So let's say I want to set some value of one want to update. Okay. Name to my name. Okay. And you have an ID which is one. You want to update the specific? How do you do that? Okay. So person ID, right? So person ID. I have to update the person ID, right? Three to one. So we're using update. Then person ID. Okay, wait, I need an extra. Check this. What? What is how to write this stuff? Syntax very far off. Okay. It's not like this. Something with setting set person ID and where clause we have to face the ID. Just I need a just I think practice. I think I have theoretical knowledge, but yeah, I need more practice. That wraps up our session for today. If you have got a better answer to any of the questions we discussed, feel free to drop it in the comments. Your insight could really help out other fellow candidates. If you like this kind of content, YouTube will recommend more videos like this on your feed. I really appreciate your support and I hope to see more of you joining the community by subscribing. Your support helps my channel grow. So thank you. And remember, if you're looking to boost your confidence before job interview or want to fine tune your resume, we offer mock interview and resume making session. Just fill out the form in the description below. You might even get featured on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more content like this. We will see you in the next video.